Hey everyone, Alex Williams here with Abraxas Games. I know it's been a while since we've done a video update, so I wanted to go ahead and do this uh, after the <laughs> crazy months that we've had behind us. Uh, if you haven't been paying much attention to the campaign, whether through updates or the, the comment section since the campaign ended, let me go ahead and give you kind of a quick rundown of what's happened so far. First of all, we found out that through a lot of miscommunication uh, between us and our printer, the game was too expensive for us to print through them. So we tried a few different things and wound up settling on manufacturing the game ourselves. It was a very ambitious thing to do, and I'm sorry to say that it's taken a lot longer than I ever expected, uh, but we are getting it done. We printed out the game components professionally and decided to put it together with our own four hands. We got our cards printed, over 57,000 of them, I believe. We got our custom dice printed at Chessex. We got custom tokens made. We printed out our instruction pages, cut them and bound them ourselves. And then we moved on to what turned out being the most difficult part of the process, uh, the boxes. We measured and cut our chipboard and had our wraps professionally printed and then we glued it all together and that's the uh, part of it that we're still working on now. Unfortunately, of course, in true don't die fashion, we ran into yet another problem with the boxes where the professional sturdy glue that we used unfortunately couldn't quite hold up in the really warm warehouse <laughs> that we've been working in. And so after we would glue some boxes a few days later, the pieces would actually start to come up and we had to go back and fix a lot of those uh, using another kind of glue, trying to keep them in a separate space to where they don't get too warm and it's just been <laughs> absolutely crazy. We've been putting everything that we can into it when we're not spending time with our family or going to work or going to school. I want to thank you guys all for being so patient with us and I'm really happy to say that we are actually at a point where we're starting to really move along. We have uh, 140 boxes done behind me there and actually almost all of the Kickstarter expansion boxes done. It is my hope that over the next week or two we'll be able to finish up the rest of the boxes and actually get this thing shipped out to you guys. On a slightly different note, uh, for those of you who won free t-shirts, I have gotten the t-shirts and this weekend I'm actually going to be cutting out some stencils and uh, get those made for you so that they are ready to go when we are ready to go with the rest of the game. Once again, guys, thank you so much for backing the project and showing your support and being patient. Uh, this, we know that this is not the normal way a game gets made. Uh, there are a lot of things that we will do different on our next game. But it is our hope that you will find Don't Die just as fun and just as entertaining as if you would if we didn't manufacture it ourselves. 